they have shocked the Super Bowl champions today. Legion of whom? Just does not look like the same team. The week leading up to the Arizona game, late November, Coach Carroll had a talk with the leaders and, and talked about playing for each other. What do you remember about that conversation with Coach? I remember he pulled us into the room and it was just, you know, the core guys. We pretty much just, just talked about playing for one another and if we could uh, put our ego to the side and, and do that for one another, we could be unstoppable. You know, our ability to play for one another and, and, and sacrifice stats and sacrifice our bodies for one another makes us different. I think that brings a different kind of passion, a different kind of energy to the football field, and I think that's, that's what separates our team. The defense steps up big. The Seahawks are on a roll. This is Seahawks football. Is that when it changed for this team and this defense in terms of playing together? I think that game was the, the change for us. You know, guys are flying around, playing out of their minds, playing crazy. That's the way we, we supposed to play, and that's fun to us. What is the sound that the opposing player will make when Cam Chancer tackles them to the ground? What sound do they make? Like an antelope makes as a, as a lion grips his, his throat and closes off his windpipe. It's like a, <laughs> and you know, some, oh somewhere God. along those lines right there. It's, All National Geographic. Yes, yeah, fear and, and terror. You just hear a loud grunt. Just, or, you, or you hear just the wind, just, just hear all the wind come out. If it's a hard hit, I get up and I scream, like, ah, I need another one. I need another one. Really? I need another one. I just need Are more. Are you human? <laughs> no man is invincible. The Green Bay Packers would completely avoid Sherman's side of the field. Let's talk about the matchup this weekend. Lots been made about the fact that Aaron didn't throw your way in week one. You said on a scale of one to 10, your frustration was a? 12. What will it be this time around if he doesn't throw your way? Oh, it will, it'll be, I, I can tell you, I will have to get that to you <laughs> after the game if he doesn't throw my way out, but it'll, be, it'll exceed that number. You want to make an impact. You want to you want to do your job effectively and, and give your team the best chance to win the ball game. Aaron Rodgers, very smart guy, incredible quarterback. You know all of this. You don't know what to expect from this injury that he has with his calf. What's your mindset in facing number 12? If you treat him differently because mm -hmm. he's injured, you think that you have some kind of advantage over him, then it can, it can hurt you, come back and bite you. But if you treat him with the utmost respect and come and finish the job, then you'll, you'll get what you need to do done.